Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you will learn in how to use Microsoft Bookings for parent-teacher conferences. So first is you have to open any of your web browser and then go ahead and search for www.office.com. Then make sure to log in to your account and in order to access the bookings feature is you have to subscribe to one of their plans. So once you're here, you just have to click on this icon at the top left hand corner of your screen and you'd be able to see here the bookings options. So you just have to click on it. Then what you're going to do next is to create a booking page. So you just have to click on this plus create booking page option. Okay, this one. And then what you're going to do next is you have to name your booking page. Okay, so we are going to create from scratch. And then here, give your booking page a name. So I'm going to name this one as conference. Then you don't have to worry about the business hours, so let's get on to that later on. So here for the business time, I'm just going to select other and then just click on next. So what you're going to do here is to add a resource. So uh, do not add anyone in here. So you can add here yourself, then just click on next. Okay, so just click on next once again and then make sure to select the anyone so people can book with a public self-service page. So just click on create. Now just have to wait for a couple of seconds while they're setting up your booking page. Then once done, you just have to click on the get started option. And then to start is we have to go to the booking page section. So we are going to edit some stuff in here. So let's start with the business page access control. So you just have to click on this arrow that is facing downward and then make sure to select the disable direct search engine and indexing of booking page. And then make sure to save this one. So just click on the save button. This one at the top left of your screen. And then let's proceed to the services. Now just click on the services option. Okay, so let's go back. I forgot to save this one so just click on the save button now click on the services and what you're going to do next is you have to click on the pencil icon so beside the name of the meeting okay so as you can see the name of this booking page is 30 minutes meeting but as you can see we would like to increase the attendance of this meeting but unfortunately, I don't know why we cannot increase it over here. So what we're going to do is to add a new service. So just click on this add new service at the top. And then you have to create a service name. And I'm going to also add the description if you want to in a location. And then if you would like to add an online meeting, so you can do that as well. Okay, so when we are going to scroll down, we can add the duration, the days, the hour, and then the minutes. And then if you want to add a buffer time, you can do that as well. And of course, for the important notes. Now we can increase the maximum number of attendees at a time. So I want four attendees at a time. And then if you would like to let your customers manage the appointment when it is booked by you or your staff in this behalf, so you can toggle the switch on over here. Now let's go to the availability options. So let's start with the time increments. So 30 minutes will do and then the minimum lead time should be 24 hours and then for the maximum lead time if you want to change this one you can do that as well and then for the availability so in general a service can be booked when it's tough or free so if you wish to customize this further you can do so below okay so now let us set a different availability for a date range so when you clicked on it and then go to this section over here so say for example you are not bookable at this specific date range so say for example on may 29 to may 29 you are not bookable okay so you're not bookable on that specific day so you just have to select that specific day as well okay now let us set a different availability for the date range so say for example you are now available on the 30th of the month of may so you just have it to select the bookable when staff are free so just select the date 
or the specific date and of course the correct month okay so now let us set another different availability for date range okay so let's click on the bookable when staff are free so see for example you are free starting may 31 to june 5 or 6 so it's up to you so this would be the date range for the bookable when staff are free and then uh, what you're going to do next is you have to save this one but of course let us proceed to the notification section first so if you would like to add an important note over here so you can do that as well so let's go to the custom fields so here for the customer information if you would like to require your customers to type out their email so you can toggle the switch on so right here and then but for now i'm just going to require them to type out their phone number and then you just have to click on save changes okay so now let us try if we can book using our link okay so let's go back to the booking page and then click on our link okay so and we do that this would be the preview of our page so they have to choose a specific booking page first so the second one that we have created is about conference so we have to select this one or our customers would have to choose this one and then they are going to select stuff mm -hmm. and then right here they'll be able to see the available dates and of course the available time but if you would like to change the time of the business hours so we can do that by going back to the um so let's close this one first and then go to the staff section so just click on this pencil icon then you just have to scroll down now you have to turn off the use business hours option so just toggle the switch off and then right here you have to type out your available time or the bookable time or the bookable day okay so for example you do not want to make any appointments during monday and then you're available on Tuesday and then you're not available on Wednesday and then you're not available the rest of the days. So as you can see, you have to make sure that you're available during 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you just have to click on save changes. Now let us try once again. So just go to the booking page and then click on your link. Okay, and then as you can see, we have to select a service. So the conference and you have to select the staff. And as you can see, we can only book during the set or the scheduled days and of course the specific time. So we can be booked during 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then the interval should be 30 minutes. So you can edit your time. So say for example, you're not available during 11 a.m. and then you can resume at 2 p.m. So you can do that as well. So you just have to edit it manually. And then your customers will go into book you and then they have to fill out the required field and then once they click on the book option so you get the notification that someone book you on that specific day and time so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye